Okay, so this package finally came. So excited. I purchased a new fountain pen. The fountain pen I decided to get this time is called a Twisby. So the one I've purchased is called the Twisby Eco. The one I really wanted was the turquoise color. Amazon didn't have that color. Um, it may be one I will get eventually, depending on how much I like it, but I decided to go with the clear one. So this is really nice. Like, look at this box. And it's relatively a cheap pen. I spent $31 on um, Amazon. It's a very, it's a relatively cheap pen. I think it, it's around $30, maybe a little bit less than that um, in some stores. But anyway, so look at this nice case. Oh, goodness. So I've seen a few other videos, and um, here's a wrench to take the pen apart for better, easy uh, cleaning. And then they give you a vial of um, silicone grease. Because this is a piston fill pen, so this is, I guess, to grease up the, the piston. My Caveco is the only pen I have, and it is a cartridge slash converter pen. Right now I have the converter inside it. And inside is a Private Reserve Cadillac, Cadillac Green ink. I wanted to try a piston fill pen. So here it is. So it is a twist top. And here is the piston. So keep going. Oh, and there it is. All right. So I have some Diamine ink in the color Safari. So let's see how this goes. Bear with me, guys. I'm still learning how to do this. Let's try again. Take two. So my lighting went away, and now here I am again. So I was struggling with filling the pen. As you can see, I have filled it already. Um, it's interesting. So far, I haven't had any problems with leaking, but we shall see if uh, I'm going to keep monitoring that. So I filled it with my Diamine ink in the color Safari. And now I'm going to, I've heard people have some problems when posting. Um, it's not a very secure pen when posting, but see, that's just something to keep in mind, I guess. Um, here's a better close-up of the nib. So I believe I bought it a fine nib. I love that you can see the ink color. I mean... On camera, you can't tell how olivey green it is. Right now, it just kind of looks like a black ink to you, I'm sure. But now I'm going to test it out. So it, it is a much finer nib, I think, than my Caveco. But it's a bigger nib. So this is the type of pen that I hope to be able to, like, can buy other um, nibs for. I'm hoping it's a relatively easier pen to clean out because my Caveco isn't as easy to clean out when switching ink colors. So I'm really excited about this pen. A lot of I heard a lot of people say how it's really nice for the price. I don't know how. I'll just have to double check and see the level of ink I have in it before heading out. I get it all over my hands, and I mean, I that's not bad, but when I'm out and about, I don't want to have to worry about my ink spilling or something like that and carrying it and trying to keep it safe and stuff. But right now, I mean, I use, it's pretty much the same thing that I do with this pen. I fill it up, I fill up the converter or the cartridge, um, but with a syringe. I purchased a pack of two syr syringes. With and so it has a dull needle right here, and then I either put it in my converter or I have a empty cartridge, and I just fill that up with whatever ink I want. And these are just Caveco ink cartridges that I've cleaned out, but I also have been filling the converter as well, just because it seems easier than than, than putting it into the ink, it's the vial itself. If you guys have any ink recommendations, I'd love to hear them, or any other fountain pen tips. Um, if you have this Eco uh, or a Twisby or even a piston filler pen, I'd love to hear some more tips and stuff on taking care of it, filling it, um, anything like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!